Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even some home decor. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I do have a subscriber appreciation giveaway going on right now, so make sure you check out my recent videos or the community tab to find out how to enter and win. Today I have a new box to the channel to share with you and I'm really excited. It is called Earth Love. This is a quarterly what they call Eco Lux lifestyle subscription. It is $59.95 per quarter plus $5.95 in shipping. They do ship internationally for a little bit more and if you're able to do an annual subscription then US shipping is included. This box was kindly sent to me for review. Now they did give me a referral code to share with all of you and that's simply Hi Noel 10 that will save you 10% on the subscription, on gift boxes, in their shop online. So you can basically use that anywhere and I think it's awesome. This box is all about ethical, mindful, sustainable living. They even have an option for an all vegan box if there's anything in there that doesn't quite hit that mark but I think most of the items they include do. And they always support a, a different eco-friendly organization each quarter quarter, which I think is awesome. I believe part of the proceeds for this quarter are going to the NCAP, which is the Northwest Center for Alternatives to Pesticides. So they protect salmon waterways and all species who depend on them from harm caused by pesticides. So basically what their name implies. And I just think that's so awesome when boxes give back and really think about their impact. And you can already tell from the packaging that they, they really practice what they preach in terms of being sustainable and having all recycled recyclable uh, packing materials. So I love that on the side here, it just says all good things are wild and free, which of course is a Thoreau quote. And their little like motto underneath Earth Love is connect, rewild, give back. And this box was kindly sent to me for review and I am so thankful. So let's go ahead and get into it. So it is packed, you guys. Now they did have one customization. You got to choose from, I think, three different books or you could have that $5 that would be kind of that part of your box go towards the organization that they are supporting in addition to the donation that they're making for every box that is sold. So they looks like they have like quite the little magazine going on here. It's wild and free. This is issue 12. So it sounds like they've been around for three years. And um, this is really cool. So it says creating good habits, conserving salmon. So there's probably a little article in here about the NCAP, uh, five zero waste kitchen swap. So always love that ways to make everything more eco friendly. So from the founder, it says, we all have the power to reshape the future of our beautiful planet. Everything we do, every decision reflects our thoughts and values. It shows that we care and the earth very much needs us to care. Doing what's right isn't always easy or fast, but we can always take small steps for the better. It's never too late to make a change. This season, the Earth Love community voted to practice creating and keeping good habits consistently as the seasonal eco challenge, a truly worthy and important goal. As you embark on your own intentional journey, be gentle with yourself and others trying to make a difference. There will be peaks and valleys, feelings of triumph and defeat, but through it all know that positive change takes time and matters. Our summer 2021 box features companies that are working hard to show that there is a better way to from sustainable fashion made using upcycled saris to creating products that do not harm the oceans. I hope that this box inspires curiosity and joy on your own path to live mindfully with the earth. Happy summer earth lovers. Love that. So it just tells us about their eco standards. So for example, that it's cruelty free. They use alter all natural ingredients, organic, there's more to that list. Um, it tells us about the book of the season. So again, there were three different choices. Our Wild Calling, Vegan Style, and What Would the Buddha Recycle? They had a value of anywhere between $15 to $28. I chose this one with the wolf on the front. Um, and then it tells us a little bit more about the other items. So it says there's community item picks. Each season members can vote on some of the items in addition to our seasonal challenge and featured cause. Here is the winner of the community vote. That is really cool. So um, we'll get to that, but it looks like we have seven items in this box and the average box value this season depending on which book 
book you got is over $230, you guys. I think that is really, really impressive that this is an eco-friendly box that is also a value box. They do have some exclusive member uh, coupon codes from the different vendors, and then they do have all of that nice information, little articles in here from some of the contributors to the box, I think. There's one about Ocean Conservancy, um, Five Zero Waste Kitchen Swaps, like we talked about, sustainable fashion. I love this. Um, and a few undeniable reasons to love yoga and Ayurveda. Love that too. Really cool. So I'm going to have to read through this a little bit later, obviously. I've got lots of reading to do, but I'm going to try to keep this propped up in front of me. Of course, it turned to the salmon page because I really want to read about the uh, NCAP a little bit more, but I need to turn it to the product page. So let's take a look at the book. So it is a hardcover, which I definitely appreciate. Um, so I think normally, just because I have so many books to read, I might have just given that extra $5 contribution, but I did want to show you guys what a full box would look like. So I did go ahead and choose a book. It says, How Connecting with Animals Can Transform Our Lives and Save Theirs. Love that so much. Um, let me see if there's a little blurb I can read for you. It says, Richard Louv's landmark book, Last Child in the Woods, inspired an international movement to connect children and nature. Now Louv redefines the future of human-animal coexistence. Encounters with other animals can happen in a flash or over time, in wilderness or in the city. Our wild calling explores the powerful and mysterious bonds we share with all living creatures and how strengthening them can transform our mental, physical, and spiritual lives, serve as an antidote to the growing epidemic of human loneliness as individuals and as a species, and help us tap into the empathy required to preserve life on Earth. Our wild calling is a blend of report reportage, perf personal stories, and cutting-edge science. Lou spent four years talking with researchers, theologians, wildlife experts, indigenous healers, psychologists, and others to show how people are communicating with anim animals in ancient and new ways, how dogs can teach children ethical behavior, how animal-assisted therapy may yet transform the mental health field, and what role the human-animal relationship plays in our spiritual health. He reports on wildlife relocation and how the growing populations of wild species in urban areas are blurring the lines between domestic and wild animals. In today's Anthropocene epic, we are threatened by environmental disruption and neglect. Our wild calling makes the case for protecting, promoting, and creating a sustainable and shared habitat for all creatures, not out of fear, but out of love. This is what Lou calls the habitat of the heart. Transformative and inspiring, this book points us toward what we all long for in the age of technology, real connection. So love that. That sounds really, really interesting. I definitely believe in using uh, that connection of humans and animals for all kinds of therapy, physical and mental. So really cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other items. So this is the uh, chosen item from the community. This is the Tizan, Tizan, organic herbal cold infused caffeine free. It's ginger and jaggery. So it says this infusion of Ayurvedic herbs is delicately crafted with the cooling properties of Tulsi, warm zing of ginger and natural sweetness of jaggery or unrefined sugar uh, to create an exclusive aromatic flavor combination that keeps you uplifted, rejuvenated and hydrated throughout the day. Drop a bag into water, shake and enjoy. How cool. So it's like in a powder form, I guess. This has an $8 value. So I'm not going to open it up right now, but that sounds like a really cool product so yeah it's just got like a little tea pyramid and you can just shake it up in some cold water and that's your your infusion neat there is a little bit of shred in here that i'm just going to pull out of the way hopefully so let's see what else we have got the next item came in it's oh so it's um, some reusable utensils which we've getting in a lot of the different boxes but i don't mind this is a cutlery set from full circle it has a 15 dollar value so this ocean-inspired three-piece cutlery set is the perfect companion for picnics, outdoor lunches, camping travel, or trips to the beach. Made with recycled plastic bottles, this set helps divert plastic waste from landfills and eliminates the need for plastic utensils while on the go. Care instructions, hand wash the bamboo utensils with warm soapy water, avoid soaking for long periods of time. Uh, machine wash the pouch in cold water on delicate cycle, wash separately or with similar colors. So that's nice, you can clean the pouch, which is great, but look how pretty is that pouch. I feel like you could use this as a really nice pencil case too but I do appreciate that you can wash the pouch easily and I like that it has a zipper at the top so let's take a look at what these look like 
so pretty hefty and these are nice and actually very very like sanded down and smooth and they have a little bit more heft to the handles than a lot of the other cutlery that I've received which is really honestly sometimes felt like kind of disposable bamboo cutlery and been like a little bit like more splintery than I would like so I'm really happy at the quality of that cutlery set it seems like something that I would actually take the time to really reuse and keep nice and clean and always in my bag on the go so the next thing I am seeing, ooh, this is like a full-size product, is from Stream to See. It's eco-conscious and biodegradable sun and sting relief gel. So that's kind of a cool thing. This has a $13 value. Soothe your skin following sun exposure, insect bites, or underwater stings. Made with a potent antioxidant blend of green tea, tulsi, wakame, and olive leaf. This gel is free of nasties like phthalates, dyes, cinnamates, or benzophenones. Stream to See is the only company in the world that is tested and proven safe for bait fish, freshwater fish, saltwater fish, and coral larvae and their sunscreen and sun care products do not affect the natural behavior. Packaged in a biodegradable, biodegradable sugarcane tube, Stream to Sea is also among the few to receive Protect the Land and Sea certification. That is quite a feat. Super cool. Super into any like stuff that's like reef safe, but also that can help you with any sunburn. So this little thing came in a little bag with a cute little spoon. So this is funny. So this is a face mask and spoon. It is from Plant Based Beauty and it has a $22 value. And man, is it tied in a knot. It says, keep your face glowing and hydrated with this organic, all natural avocado and algae face mask handmade by Monica founder of plant-based beauty instantly notice soft and clean skin from the nourishing superfoods of avocado spirulina and moringa that give your skin the vitamins it needs directions best used on damp skin directly after showering or cleansing you just place one to two scoops into the palm and mix with equal amount of water to create a paste so it is a powder mask i honestly don't use those that much because i sometimes just feel like it's more trouble than it's worth but i like that she didn't give us an excuse because there is like a little spoon and if you just kind of set it like right there at the edge of your shower or on your shower shelf, it's probably not that hard and you probably really feel the benefits. Whenever I actually take the time to do the like masks that you have to miss, mix, I'm like, oh, it is really nice. It's like so much more like hydrating and nourishing sometimes than those little, little sheet masks that you kind of slap on for a second or two. I'm trying you guys to get this open, but it's really wedged into the little mesh bag. So let me see if I can kind of pull it out maybe 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 so it definitely wasn't going to spill that's the nice thing she definitely i don't know how she got it in there maybe i just need to like cut the string so almost there it's kind of funny because avocado is in so many things it's like avocado is so good for you like to eat to ingest and also to put like on it to have in your skincare and it's like just one of those things that i don't like to eat but i don't mind it at a face mask so here's what the little jar looks like it is very green you can see that powder so i'm sure it's going to be great and if i have the discipline to use it i will let you all know wow this is heavy you guys this is really like heavy duty great uh eco-friendly uh kitchen item really cool so it's this bag set and this like this bar on the top of each of them has some definite heft and weight to it so they came in all uh, four different sizes wow with the, like a nice size foot on the bottom of them which i think is awesome and i just think this is so cool so instead of those like little zippers right that we have in those uh disposable ones this is something that's really going to keep anything that's in there nice and fresh this is a storage bag set from net zero company it has a 47 96 47 dollars and 96 cent value and i'm telling you like at first i was like that's kind of crazy but these feel like so heavy duty and well made so say goodbye to plastic bags net zero companies for piece food grade silicone storage bag set includes three different sizes small medium and large so i think that we got maybe two of the medium sizes so they can cover all your storage needs whether that's taking a snack on a hike or freezing fresh summer berries they are cold and heat resistant with an airtight seal keeping fruits and veggies crunchy and leftovers fresh for days simply slide the seal across the top to lock the contents inside also keep track of lunches or leftovers with the writable surface dishwasher and microwave safe i love hearing that it's dishwasher safe yay um, which honestly can be a lot more 
like sustainable, right? Because we probably use less water when we just do one big load in the dishwasher. So it just kind of slides off. It's almost like what you used to use on those book report covers. Do you remember that from back in the day, you guys? So it kind of slides on and off. There are some like grooves in there so that it, you can get it started. It was just a little bit tricky to get off right at first because it kind of had slid so far over. And then let's see if it, ha I'm trying to, so it does really like suction kind of closed. So it's got some grooves there as well. And it's like I said, it's pretty heavy duty. It feels a lot thicker than the other ones that I've gotten from other companies. So I'm really happy about this. And I love that you can probably like write on the outside and still clean that off. So cool item. All right, I think we've got a couple more things. So here is our upcycled sari item, and this is so pretty. Look at the colors of this, you guys. I love this like saffron that's got some pattern in it, and then everything kind of goes together. I'm wondering what this is. Is this like a dress? Wow, so this is an upcycled sari kimono, or we'll call it a wrap. So this is from Guru. It does say that it's like one size. So this is one sleeve. It's got like a gathered sleeve here. Super cute, so like kind of three quarter length. I love this like fuchsia. And then on the other side, we've got this other pattern. And so it looks like it has a pocket right here and then like a cinch at the waist to make it like feel a little more gathered, a little bit more like less shapeless basically so i will have to like give this a try a little bit later on um yeah so it does have that like cinch and then does have kind of a high slit here along the side so it would look really pretty just kind of like walking around your house in your yoga pants and you kind of look a little bit more like put together this has a 110 dollar value so this is a very but i have to tell you the fabric is lovely it's very like lightweight but very luxe at the same time because of all the like um like a little bit of shine to it really cool so it does look like it's got pockets on both sides kind of big oversized ones and then it does have this like so this isn't actually to cinch it it just kind of like like a bath bathrobe you could actually tie it around the center if you wanted to or i would probably just tie it around the back again to give it a little bit more shape it says who says sustainable fashion has to be boring these airy and stylish upcycled sari kimonos are perfect for a trip to the beach or relaxing in the summer sun each one is uniquely designed by canadian guru founder Catherine boys bows and handcrafted from upcycled fair trade ragsula saris most made from bamboo viscose or art, art silk or artificial silk that have been collected by bartering with indian villages note since the saris have history they may also have minor imperfections that are camouflaged in the beauty of the design the designs are one of a kind and will vary so i have to say i kind of love these like jewel tones and it's very like earthy at the same time like kind of a lot of browns and stuff especially like in this print here so honestly this doesn't feel super summery to me even though it's like kind of airy and flowy, this actually feels very fall in the colors. So I'm kind of into that. It's a little like hippie and boho, but like I kind of love my like touches of hippie and boho when it comes to my attire, like free people stuff is some of my favorite stuff and I can totally see this being like a free people dress. So I'm into this, I'll give it a try. You know, if I go back to teaching yoga, this could be like the perfect uh, dress up item. So I think that is it. Let me just double check. Let's just go over all of the awesome items that we got in this Earth Love box. And you guys will have to let me know what you think about it. I'm really impressed. So we got one of the three book selections. I chose the one about our human connection to animals called Our Wild Calling by Richard Louvre. Uh, we also got the uh, Member's Choice, which is this Tezan Ginger and Jaggery a water infusion cold infusion just to give your water a little bit more flavor so hopefully you drink a little bit more of it we got this stunning sari kimono which again not necessarily something that i would personally in a boutique pay for 110 dollars but it is something that you would probably find in a boutique for 110 dollars and again i love the fact that they are working with communities and helping them make a living wage so then we also got this very heavy duty storage bag set with these really pretty like colors i've never seen this like style of bag with that like top but very heavy duty uh, face mask and spoon we got our from took me a little while to open it up but I did get into our avocado and algae face mask our sun and sting soothing relief gel nice big size bottle six fluid ounces you guys and then finally our cutlery set which came in that really really pretty storage bag that you can wash and again really nice quality on that cutlery with those nice thick handles so I'm pretty excited about this box I thought it was awesome a good variation 
um, definitely you kind of get those natural sustainable eco-friendly vibes but at the same time it was it was a nice variety of items and some of the stuff feels a little bit like luxe and, and fancy at the same time let me know what you thought about this earth love if you want check it out use that code again i will leave it for you in the description box below if you appreciated this video please do give it a thumbs up and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing